up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Los Angeles at Flight Club with the beautiful Amber Rose. Hello. I thought I was balling when I had those. We're going to do some sneaker shopping today. We're going to get a female's perspective on the sneaker game. You know, swag is very just subtle. A subtle After flex. Subtle flex is hot. We're going to see what she likes, what she doesn't like, and hopefully she's going to buy some sneakers. If they're pink only. Let's do it. Amber, let's talk about growing up in Philly and as a child, what were your sneaker habits like? Did you always have the best sneakers? I did not always have the best sneakers. Uh, I grew up very poor, the single mom. I actually remember getting made fun of in school because my sneakers were so bad. I would call my dad and I'd be like, Dad, can you please buy me some sneakers? And he would say, does the sole have a hole in it? Well, no, it doesn't have a hole in it, mm -hmm. but I still need new sneakers. Like, right. they're dirty as fuck. He would say, well, if the sole doesn't have a hole in it, then they're still good. So take them to the laundromat, wash them, and make them brand new. When was the time where you finally got the sneakers you really wanted? Around high school. It was always like the Reebok Classics, mm -hmm. the 5411s, or Filas. Yeah. Yeah, and that was about it. I never had Jordans mm -hmm. growing up. Um, I remember that I had the Nike Airs. That It was air, really big on the side. Yeah. And I thought I was balling when I had those. You have them on right now. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm in like the zone of. I like literally just looked down. Are you nervous? Is that what it is? Not really. You're intimidating. I am. Do they have those here? We're gonna have to get you a pair regardless if they have them here. Okay. All right. All right, we'll look. But those are sick. Thank you. The Pippins. Yeah, 1996. Got it. See, you know. You talked about finally getting a pair of Jordans when you can afford them. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the sixes, we have the fives, and the fours, and the threes. Which pair of Jordans stood out to you as one of your favorites? I would say the threes. Yeah. I think the threes are my favorite. OK, talk about the threes and when you got them in 2009. What was it like to put those on for the first time? Amazing. I feel like these are the best Jordans. I feel like you could wear them with anything and look super fly. So these are by far my favorite. Your son is three years old. Yes. Is he going to be raised a sneakerhead? Probably from his dad. Yeah. His dad yells at me all the time because I dress my son like a little nerd, and he gets <laughs> so mad at me. But his dad will probably hook him up with all this stuff. OK. He's and more aware of, like, what's going on. Yeah. I want to ask you about females getting their own sneaker. Rihanna has a Puma deal. Tiana Taylor had an Adidas, and now she's working with Reebok. Nicki Minaj has some Jordans. How do you feel about females in the industry getting their own sneakers? You know how I feel about that. I think it's awesome. Yeah. Um, girls obviously wear sneakers too. We don't always wear heels. And um, I think it's super cool. I think the Pumas that uh, Rihanna did are sick. Yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to getting those. A lot of musicians want to be athletes and athletes want to be like musicians. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about who has better style? Oh, that's a tough one. I think, you know, it's just, who you are as a person, you know? I guess, uh, I think athletes do get a bad rep for like dressing horribly. Yeah. But that's because the ones that dress really bad stick out. Yeah. But um, yeah, I guess it just depends on the person. Now we see a lot of athletes taking risks with their colorways, pink mm -hmm. foam posits, and Kevin Durant has floral prints. Mm -hmm. Do you like that trend? I just think guys that wear pink is really sexy. So if I wore these, it, you'd be cool with that? I would totally have sex with you, I like you that. if you wore those. All right, I, I need these in 11. No, just now, for sneaker culture, a lot of dudes race to Instagram to be first with a new pair of sneakers. How do you feel about that? I think it's very corny. Really? I would be turned off by that. So if you saw your man taking a picture of his sneakers after he just got them and running to Instagram, you'd be like, yo, what are you doing? It would be a turn off, for okay. sure. You know, swag is very just subtle. Like, kind of when I noticed your shoes, like, you didn't even say it, but I, like, saw it subtle after. Flex. Subtle flex. Subtle um, flex hot. What is the craziest thing you've done to get a pair of sneakers you really wanted? I waited on the corner, and I had, like, a sign that said, blow jobs for sneakers. That's not true. And <laughs> <laughs> No, I, um, I, I don't think I ever did anything crazy for sneakers. <laughs> OK, fair enough. We talked about everything growing up, mm -hmm. Jordans, dudes wearing pink. Yeah. Let's see what sneakers you're feeling. Let's try them on. OK, Let's cool. go. I got those. Oh, I have these. I have those already. I have those, too. Okay. What about these? Those are cool. I definitely want to get these. Okay. Um, I'm going to get these for my boo. That's a good gift. 
Thank you. And um, I'm gonna get the foam posits, the red ones, mm -hmm. and the black cement. Oh, sick. They're dope. Even though he's a ball player and well connected, he may not have those. So, as you guys can see, Amber came through, bought four pairs of sneakers for herself, one for her boyfriend. Make sure you follow her on all her social media accounts to find out where the next slut walk's gonna be. Thanks for coming through. Thank you. Awesome. I'm saying, bitch, it's all about being smart. You gotta be quick. Sorry, we don't know you. I don't want you to do this, that's why I do it. I was always a big fan of the 11s, yeah. but uh, you know, I need to get me to the level where I only said We got that, we kicking it, man. Yeah, that's right.